Join Ava and special guest on Ada Tell Us Today Show. There is a difference between spiritual gifts, Bible ministry gifts, and motivational gifts. The spiritual gifts are given to empower the church spiritually. But the personality gifts of those gifts that we possess um, that has to do with the makeup of who we are, that personality allows who we are to be a blessing to the kingdom of God. Um, it's linked very closely to the Greek word uh, paraklesis and what that actually means, it means a calling for the purpose of encouraging. So in other words, to exhort really means to encourage and it also means to edify. His name is Jesus. You just turned the station, you just turned and tuned in and uh, you've been under some heavy uh, oppression. Not, not, not possession. You know, when we are born again, blood bought believers, uh, we can't be possessed by demonic spirits, but we can be oppressed. They come and they try to oppress. And, and I believe that you know that uh, you have the victory over that. I'm speaking to some believers right now. You know that you have the victory over that, but you've just been so weighted down and beat down that you just can't seem to pull yourself out of that. The Lord is going to give you a spirit of joy, the oils of joy for that spirit of heaven. So I want you to just open your heart and worship God and let the joy of the Lord fill you to bring you out of those circumstances. I'm going to pray right now. We're going to break that thing that's on you right now. God is going to deliver you and set you free. And Father, we speak right now to those demonic spirits that have been sent on assignment. To those uh, right now, we bind you, command you in the name of Jesus to lose your hope. And we send you back to the pit from whence you've come. And Father, we just release right now, Lord, just the liberty and, a, and, and we release the joy of the Lord. We release the, the peace of God right now. Complete restoration and healing and wholeness right now, Lord, to those that are viewing this program. Father, set them free. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we say every burden be lifted right now. Every yoke destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the Bible, John 17 chapter, Jesus prayed to the Father that he would make us one as he and the Father are one. He wants us to be brought into complete unity. And I believe that he's calling red, yellow, black, and white, all of us together, to accomplish the purposes and the plans that he has for us in the earth. Hallelujah. That's why David said, I will bless the Lord, oh my soul. He said, soul, line up and bless the Lord. And that's what we got to do this morning. How can you not respond to a love that loves you even in your weakness? But God is faithful. And His Word, even though the tough times we experience, we kept, even due to tears, this time we felt forsaken and abandoned. I'm so thankful to God.
set you free from the chains that bind you and he'll give you the victory for he's the lion of judah he's the holy messiah he calls out to you today come to the throne of grace for jesus loves you and he cares so much about you just come as you are and you'll never be the same he will give you the power over all adversity and he will give you the victory from the chains that bind you and he'll give you the victory for he's the lion of judah he's the holy messiah he calls out to you today come to the throne of grace oh for jesus loves you and he cares so much about you just come as you are and your life will rearrange he will make you more more than a conqueror and he'll give you the victory yes he will he will give the victory the victory you have victory in your life he'll give you the victory he'll touch your life yes he will he'll make you more than a conqueror the victory the gift of exhortation it is a gift and it's given by the Holy Spirit to Christian believers. And the purpose of that gift is to actually stand beside believers or other people in need. And a person with that gift normally, just naturally, bring comfort to other people. They will naturally, uh, automatically counsel and bring encouragement. And those who are being ministered to by that gift, usually there is a sense of renewed hope. Uh, there is a sense of feeling that those felt needs are met. But they reach out and they find ways to bring out the best in others. Um, they usually provide reassurance and support. Those who have this particular gift, they're known as motivational gifts. They're usually kind of personality gifts. It's just a natural thing. They're gifts that the Holy Spirit gives. It's by grace, and it's like God putting his super on your natural. But usually the emphasis as it relates to this gift is on the positive. Most exhorters are very fluent in communication. They normally accept people as they are without judging them. But perceiver, what they do normally is they see people as either, you know, they're either going to be in the will of God or they're going to be out of the will of God. And there's no anything in between. But an exalter, they don't see extremes. What they normally do is they see only uh, that little gray area where uh, someone fits in. We're all growing. The whole focus is encouraging others, not only in their everyday lives, but to see spiritual growth take place. Hey, y'all. Hey, 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 welcome to the yard. In the kingdom, the kingdom of God. We're building a people, not a building made of stone, no. We're one. And we're one in the Lord For we are the body of The body of Christ One voice One, voice. one vision One, vision. one, body. one body On one accord one Oh, we are the church, are the church. That love be 
and sisters in Christ We'll all work together Red, yellow, black and white With love and unity Whatever the cost, yes We're building the kingdom And we're reaching the lost One voice One voice One vision One vision One body I'm willing to become very personally involved To see that achieved no one to the exhorter has arrived as yet. Everybody has their own mission field, but this is something that is a very natural thing to just be able to love people and, and work with people from all walks of life. The motivation of the exhorter is to not only see that spiritual growth takes place, but they really want to see an end result. They want to see achievement. They're constantly giving up themselves to really make a difference in the lives of other people. Most of the time, exhorters are loved by people because they normally have a positive attitude. But of course, we know that to exhort is also to rebuke. There's a time for that. But with this gift, most of the time, it's, it's building on strengths. We normally tend to operate in the area where that compassion is for that specific uh, gift. And I can remember, even in my early years, even when I went to church, I would always look for people who appeared to be alone or someone that nobody else seemed to want to have anything else to do with. And sometimes that particular gift can be misunderstood because if you are a minister of the gospel, a pastor or a shepherd, you know, you're looking out for your flock and you're going to be observing, well, why is that person all over the place? And what are they doing? And, you know, there's water already in a certain house, but this there, it's going to operate in you, whether you are in the White House or whether you're in in a neighborhood where, you know, there's a lot of crime or violence. If the gift is there, it's going to come out, and it's something that the Holy Spirit gives, but it is for a particular purpose. We have many members, but we're actually in one in the body of Christ, and individually, we are parts of one another. Uh, but it's important to understand that we're mutually dependent on one another. You know, so often we look at just really seeking to be um, in the limelight or in a position where we're in front of people speaking, you know, behind a pulpit or shepherding a flock. But what I encourage you to do is to do what God has called you to do. He's made us all different. No one is the same. We're all different. And even as it relates to the body of Christ, you know, if everybody did what they're supposed to do with their ministry gifts, if they knew what their purpose was, uh, even as it relates to spiritual gifts, how they operate, the order, and even the motivational gifts, we would, we would have no room for jealousy. There would be no room for intimidation. But we would all work together to not only edify the body of Christ and build up the body of Christ, but the church is not only a building, it's people. If you um, have that gift, God wants us to encourage each other daily is to do what God has called you to do. He's made us all different. No one is the same. We're all different. And even as it relates to the body of Christ, you know, if everybody did what they're supposed to do with their ministry gifts, if they knew what their purpose was, uh, even as it relates to spiritual gifts, how they operate, the order, and even the motivational gifts, we would, we would have no room for jealousy. There would be no room for intimidation. But we would all work together to not only edify the body of Christ and build up the body of Christ, but the church is not only a building, it's people. If you um, have that gift, 
God wants us to encourage each other daily. And it's not something you're just doing in your own strength, but it's something that the Holy Spirit is uh, directing and He's anointed you to do it. It's about encouraging the church and others in need.